Hi guys, simply Monica here doing a toy haul. Now you see who I have, right? Can I try to pull her down? No, of course she wants to be with me or what? And I sound like, okay. If you're gonna be in the video, you gotta look the part, right? Say hi. Yeah, that ain't happening. Anyway, we're doing a toy, five month old toy haul. Now, most of these I got for free. The reason why is because you know I'm cheap. That's one. Two is where I live, people have like a, um, a Facebook group where they give away stuff, you know. Sometimes the stuff is really good, sometimes not so good. But, um, they give it away. And I wanted baby toys, but I didn't want to spend an arm full legs at the store for baby toys that she's only going to use for, you know, a month or two and then be done with it. So, I got them for free. Now, I got most of the ones that were non-porous and I don't get stuffed animals and things like that because, of course, people have bed bugs, they have germs, they have... All these type of things and also I can't soak them in some bleach or vinegar so I got mostly things that I can snook like the nubbies and so forth so I got let's see keys of course rattly make a lot of noise she's not really into the keys that much I got um nubbies of course but she's teething like crazy so I even have two of these actually I have three of these when they was giving it away I, I took a little too many so I got three Another, another type of nubby, right? She don't really eat them that much. She's teething like crazy, but don't really eat the nubbies that much. But okay. Then I got books, little books, caterpillar book, just um, you know, sight words and um, you know, pictures, colorful, just to keep her eye focused. I really don't know what this part is because it's not big enough to go around her wrist. And if it goes around your wrist, it's kind of heavy, but maybe it's a stroller toy or a um, car seat toy. There you go. We learned something together. I got this here. Now, I didn't want to get it, but I cleaned it off well, soaked it, all that good stuff. This here, she absolutely loves. It's a rattler, and I don't know what it is, but she loves this one the most. She, she can play with this no matter what. So when she's taking her professional pictures, I um, brought this. Oh, forget it. She was just jumping up to the moon for this one. This. I got this, another teether. With the little, um, you know, she could hold on to it. She could bite on it. All of that. And it's nice and soft. She kind of likes this one, but the giraffe beats everything. Then, um... She, hold on. Then this toy here is a rattler that my sister made. Now I don't I don't keep it with the rest of the toys because one is special, but two because I put, I keep it in the crib for her because it's nice and soft. And she, I know she's not gonna get hurt with it or anything else. At the other toys she can get hurt, poke her eye out, whatever have you. This is a lot softer, it's a lot simpler, and she loves this thing to death. She would be beating herself up in the crib with this. So usually I give it to her in her crib because it is special so I don't want it to be with the other toys look at that see right there right in the mouth next I have a ball and the ball is okay she, she's not really into the ball yet but of course it takes coordination and pushing and pulling and stuff like that she's not quite into that that's like one of the first toys she's ever had with the ball um let's see a bunch of keys I have this it goes on the play set but um, I started using this as a nubby in the very beginning, and that's because it's soft. It has that gummy, uh, rubbery type texture, and she can bite on it and hold it in her hand. And, you know, it's simple and easy. I hate that it's stereotypical, but it works. So we're going to ride with it like that. Okay. She also has this little book. And this is, again, another... Um, it doesn't really hook onto the stroller or the uh, car seat because it doesn't have any openings in the ring. But um, you can still, she can, you can still have it, you know, on the go. And it's a little story about what the cat did, what the dog did, and so forth. And um, just something fun, easy reader, and it's it scrunches, so it keeps their attention. But she's not really into this one either yet. But I'm holding it to maybe six months. And maybe she'll, you know, start to warm up to it. Now, the next two toys I'm going to show you. Now, those are all toys that I keep all over the house. 
some um, when she's eating in her um, her high chair, some in my room, some in her crib or her room. So, and I keep them all over the house and so forth. So those are okay average toys, except for the giraffe. Now, giraffe has a special place in her heart. Two other toys that I recommend you getting is, this is the car seat toy. As you see, because it has the curly cubes, okay? It's a car seat toy. It does a little bit of everything. It has a rattler. It has something to hold on to. It has a little mirror. It has um, stuff to squeak and stuff like that. They have various ones out there. You can bite on it. She can throw it around. Not a big deal. And even if she drop it on the floor, it's easy to find. Now, normally it's supposed to go on the car seat, the bar of the car seat. Now, the reason why it's like this is because she don't like it on the car seat. It's supposed to be where it's on the bar. She can look at it and eventually start to swing at it. She don't want that. So, I took it off the car seat the car seat bar and I put it on her lap when we in the car seat. She loves it. She gets to play with it. She gets to bite on it. She gets to swing it around. It's, her, it's one of her favorite toys on the go. And she just dropped it. But it's one of her favorite toys on the go. And I go nowhere without it. I cannot leave home <laughs> without that toy. It's perfect for the car. It's not that noisy. It's stuff to do for her. It's great. Next, bedtime. This toy here, I'm looking for, because she has a crib, an actual crib, and I'm looking for a mobile. The problem with the mobiles is that when she's done with the crib, you still have that claw, you could, of course, take the mobile elsewhere, but you still have that claw mechanism wherever you are. You know what I'm saying? So and it's just not attractive, and you can't just throw it anywhere and so forth. So I, I didn't want the mobile. Then I was looking at the little... <laughs> then I was looking at the little... um sound systems and sleepers and stuff like that. The ones that make music or noise, stuff like that. I don't want white noise. I know white noise is supposed to push you to sleep. I don't want white noise because number one, I want her to learn and ingest words and sounds and phrases and music and things like that. That's one. Two, white noise can be boring after a while. However effective it may be, and I'm sure it is, but that's it. White noise and that, nah. Then I wanted something more classical music like, you know, because I want my baby to be extra intelligent. But um, they didn't have that many. So this is what I found. In Walmart, I call it my little hippo. Okay? So cute, right? Okay, they didn't have a pink one. So, and I'm not big on everything has to be pink for a girl or stuff like that. But okay, it takes, I think it takes two AA batteries. It doesn't run out of batteries that fast. Okay, what's special about it? is that it's sight and it's sound. So, you turn it on and it starts music right away. If you can see, it's kind of lighting up a little bit. Now, in a very dark room, it'll project stars and um, spaceships and moons and stuff like that. So it's again, sight and sound. So being that it projects the stars and stuff like that in the glow in the dark form, um, she can see as well as listen. She loves this. I take it everywhere we're going to spend a night. When she's in her crib, I put it in the crib on the opposite side so she can't reach it because she's not crawling or she's not um, turning over yet. So she can't reach it now and she loves it. When she's crying and having a bad night or whatever, I bring this out. Again, sight and sound. Something to look at and something to listen to. Also, it has books. Can you see that? Books stories, nature sounds, and music. So, if I want her to ha listen to stories, some words to get those in her mind and stuff, great. Nature sounds, great. Similar to white noise, is nature sounds. Got it all in one. Got books, got music, so I have it all. Also, it has a timer. So, it has 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 45 minutes. So, it'll play continuously for 15 minutes, let's say, if you set it there. And then, it'll turn off. As soon as she starts crying again, it'll turn back on. I love that. I love that. It works on its own. I don't have to come back in and turn nothing on. Or now she's not crying her head off trying to get it back on. I love this here. Is one of my best investments. It is so good. And um, it, it works. You can have the stars really, really bright, really, really dark. You could also, also, it's different colors. So it's blue, red, green, orange, and yellow. 
that comes out of all this. And you can see that it, you can tell it's stars and spaceships and moons and I love this one. She loves it too. And it has been a lifesaver in many, many situations. And also, it's teaching her. It's educational. It's um, for her age, for five months. It's educational. It's, again, sight. So she gets to see different colors, different shapes. She gets to hear different musics and tones and textures and so forth. So this here, I think I spent either $30 or $40 at Walmart. I, to me, it's the best thing. I didn't need a mobile. I didn't need all them other, you know, toys and whatnot. This does everything right here. And when this thing goes, if they don't have another one, I think I'm just going to just cry. So I'll write the company and beg them to make me one more. So that's pretty much my five-month toy haul. Is That's all I do right now is go through these toys pretty, as far as handheld toys. So I do have some tabletop toys and so forth that she's slowly but surely getting into. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Pretty much it for your little toys. Right? All right. See you later. See you next time. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> bye.